Increased security presence in Namugongo has resulted in the confiscation and arrest of individuals found carrying unauthorized items in the premises. These items were detected at the entrances using erected scanners. We recovered uh, forks, knives from people who are not service providers and we had to put them aside. Uh, and uh, we are appealing to members of the public to come with items that are not deemed dangerous. If you're a service provider, you're known. You have been accredited as a service provider. There are people who came with hammers. What are you doing with a hammer in, in a place like this? All of that was being taken out of their uh, bags while we were checking them. Traffic diversion occurred, inconveniencing pilgrims who had to trek long distances to access the shrine. Those who came maintained. Officer, let's maintain left. Those who came, let's maintain left. Look at the the Get too many. To a get a bit, no get a bit. I'm a couple get too many to to go to to see to eat. To a yingiranga, what you were to yingirida. I take a to see where to yingirida. That we were expecting H.E. the president. And uh, I think the SFC saw it that uh, the president couldn't move in the same line with the what? With the members of the public coming to Namibia. That's why they diverted. Police arrested over 115 suspects for alleged involvement in criminal activities. I'm on suspicion of uh, committing crimes. Others have been uh, pointed to, uh, at to us that they have stolen something. Others have been gotten with uh, suspicious items. Uh, like one we bought, we caught with uh, wires and a battery while gaining entry to this place. We have put him away and we are interrogating him further. Police also conducted rescue missions, assisting other service providers in aiding individuals who collapsed due to dehydration and hunger. Advise them to keep on taking in these fluids. Uh, the other aspect is also the hunger. People did not plan this journey, these journeys they were taking. People have moved from long distances and they are not taking sufficient meals. So we advise them next time to plan uh, before the journey have the money around because meals are being sold, meals are not being given for free. So with that, uh, we believe uh, that is our major challenge today because uh, Red Cross, Uganda Police and uh, the scouts you see have been evacuating people since yesterday. A significant number of abandoned children were rescued and some subsequently reunited with their parents or guardians. Parents are urged to contact the Namugongo Police to locate missing children. Attending number still stuck with us. Yesterday we had uh, 16, but we have managed to reunite five of them. In the meantime, police provided temporary shelter for elderly individuals abandoned by the relatives, while husbands have reported cases of missing wives. We have registered cases of missing persons. Uh, we have uh, a lot of people who have uh, diverted from the people they came with, or, uh, old people especially. We have over 10. The men are still looking for their wives, and we are on the lookout for that also. They came with their wives, and they are nowhere to be seen. So that is the complaint. But it is still early. We are hopeful that they will be found. Uh, we have like two cases so far. Suspects currently in police custody will be screened before being released, while others will be charged and processed for court. Abdul Nasir Lubama and Ivan Kahwa for UBC.